It's been two years since three Utah women were killed in Caldwell, Idaho. Police are still searching for the suspect who may have gotten away with a triple murder. ABC4's Rick Aaron tells us police believe the unsolved murders resulted from a love triangle gone horribly wrong. More than two years after the murders of Nadia Medley and her 14-year-old daughter Peyton, this photo remains on Nadia's Facebook page, smiling at a baseball game on either side of the man suspected of killing them. Other pictures show Nadia and Peyton with Gerald Mike Bullinger at a picnic, attending a concert, at the fair, and at the rodeo. It's obvious that Gerald and Nadia were romantically involved, and in this post from March 29th, 2016, she's feeling excited that he asked her and Peyton to move to Idaho with him. But Gerald was apparently living a double life, still married to his wife, Cheryl Baker, a longtime school teacher who still lived at their house in Ogden. On June 19th, 2017, her body was found along with Nadia and Peyton's in a shed on Bullinger's property in Caldwell, Idaho. Each had a single gunshot wound. Baker's co-workers at Greenwood Charter School in Harrisville planted a maple tree in her honor. She was truly generous. She, um, she touched so many people. Bollinger, a pilot for Classic Aviation Services in Ogden, was later recorded on store surveillance cameras in the area of Swan Valley, Idaho. And on July 12th, 2017, his Ford Focus was found abandoned in a remote area of the Bridger Teton National Forest near Moran, Wyoming. Canyon County, Idaho Sheriff Kieran Donahue says Bollinger likely committed suicide, but his body has never been located. Is there a chance that that Mr. Bollinger left that car and then deliberately was able to, to get access to get out of the area, perhaps out of the country. All those possibilities are open. They truly are. Investigators say until they find Gerald Bollinger or his body, this case, like this Facebook page, will remain open. Reporting in the newsroom, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.